This is the Spring Garden Road Memorial Public Library. What a mouthful. It was built in 1951. Here's what it looks like from the inside. This is the children's section. This is a pencil that I stole off the front desk. Please don't tell anyone though. Here's where you turn your books. And speaking of books, they've got quite a few. pretty neat place. But that's all about to change. These are the reports and documents recommending a new library. It was in 1987, after a building feasibility study, that we first found the library to have some issues. It was basically at capacity, and it couldn't support any further growth without significant changes, which included a recommendation to double the floor space. In 1996, Halifax was amalgamated. Basically, the city boundaries went from this to this, and that put a whole different spin on the role of the Spring Garden Library from one that serviced its local community to one that would be the centralized library for what was now the Halifax Regional Municipality. By this time, the library was in pretty rough shape and needed the renovations pretty badly. Well, there were several solutions proposed for the issue of the increasingly outdated library, but we finally decided that the library needed a new building entirely. The plan? Get public funding by 1997 and have the new building constructed by 2000 for Halifax's 250th birthday. Now, I imagine you're probably wondering why we haven't built this thing already. Well, in the following year, the library didn't exactly get the funding that they were hoping for. In fact, they got the opposite. Budgets were cut, jobs were lost, tears were shed, and when the year 2000 rolled around, the new library was more or less off the table. Oh, well, it was a pretty shitty birthday anyways. The funding problems continued for the new library long after that, and it actually wasn't until 2009 that the library project was revisited. But there was one thing that was different this time. So there's a story of how we've gotten to this point. A library that's been long overdue for an overhaul. But of course, this does come with some controversy. We are in Halifax after all, and you know, Halifax and controversial developments. You know. The construction of a new library brings with it the issue that the original building is essentially a memorial to those that served in the First and Second World War. And while steps are being taken to have the new library commemorate some of that history, the actual fate of the building is up in the air at this point, with few groups interested in maintaining it once it's closed. However, the general notion is that a new library has been a long time coming. And in comparison to other developments, it's actually been run fairly smoothly with an extensive public consultation process. In case you missed it, it's this building right here. And I'm gonna go check it out right now. I'll let you know how it goes. We're Plan Effects. Stay tuned. Monólogos que a rato pierden su eficiencia, procesos de racionalización sin eficacia.